Hi guys, this is JJ Lockhart back again this week with a new video. This week I'm showing you guys a recent commission that I did. Um, this wonderful gentleman approached me at uh, one of the cons I was recently at and he has this really cool little uh, Harry Potter sketchbook and he's been going around um, asking different artists to, um, I guess, commission different artists to draw in his little book. And so um, I was thinking it over and there was one thing that I really wanted to draw from the Harry Potter world and that was the Mirror of Erised. So um, I pitched him the idea and he seemed to like it. So um, he was very kind and mailed me the book. And in a couple of days I received the book and I was so excited to get it. Um, I looked through it and obviously I, I can't show all the other drawings in the book but um, you can kind of glimpse a little bit um, of the, the, the drawing right previous just because of the bleed through from the paper but um, obviously I'm not able to show all the other drawings but the booklet is just so awesome just filled with other artworks by different artists and it's such a great idea um, just to get like a Harry Potter sketchbook and get it filled by you know different artists that you like and so obviously I was so honored and thrilled to be asked to um, to uh, participate in this um, sketchbook and so when I was uh, figuring out the composition of what I wanted to draw I kind of had some several sketches in mind but um, ultimately I, I wanted the I guess the main focus of the drawing to be the actual mirror and I did want to draw the mirror with the image of Lily and, and uh, James Potter in it and so um, I was sketching some stuff out and if you see in the back that's my rough my rough sketch um, I just used regular paper and just regular like copy printer paper and I sketched it out in red pencil and then after that um, what I did is I took a light box and traced my drawing into the book and the reason why I did this is just because since it's a you know bound book it, if I mess up I obviously can't tear the sheet out and start fresh um, that's the good part about working on individual sheets or in a sketchbook you don't care about you can just if you don't like it you can tear it out but since it was a commissioned piece in this really nice book I obviously didn't want to mess it up so what I did is I just sketched my drawing I had it all planned out and drawn out on my piece of paper and then what I did is I uh, put you know awkwardly put the book and the sheet on the light box and just give it uh, gave it a rough uh, I guess I roughly drew out where everything should be and then I sort of cleaned up the lines with a ruler and um, then I uh, sketched out a little bit more of their faces which you'll see in just a little bit and um, then I started applying my solid base colors with the Copic markers and um, I decided to do the background more of I guess like the way I envisioned the setting would be more of in that you know dark chamber and that um, from the from the first movie um, and then the architecture in the back with some um, with some arches and um, what I did was I tried to place the mirror in a setting where I envisioned it would be um, I did look at some photo references of um, of the of the Sorcerer's Stone the first book I mean the for, the first movie based off of the first book and um, then I guess I I figured because the structure of the mirror is very bold I wanted bold lines in the background as well um, and then that way by making the mirror and the background pretty bold I wanted the foreground and the uh, portraits or the you know the two or I guess you say the three figures in the mirror um, to be very soft in contrast to the you know the hard architectural structures in the mirror and in the background um, and then I went in there and uh, got a little like I was saying made a little more details into the face um, just because when I sketched it on the piece of paper I made some details but when I went to uh, to trace it with the light box since it's a, in a book it's a little awkward to hold together um, I just roughly drew where I had drawn my lines and where I had drawn the, drawn, drawn the figures 
and so therefore I later had to go in and pencil um, and again I mostly just did that just because I just really didn't want to mess up um, in in the uh, actual sketchbook and obviously I used those red uh, color erase pencils to draw but even still I didn't want to like start from scratch on the sketchbook because I didn't want to keep erasing or you know being I guess it, it just made me feel more at ease to do it on a separate piece of paper rather than just sketch it from you know nothing in the sketchbook and have it not appear the way that I wanted to do and not not feel comfortable with the way that I was drawing it and so um, after I laid down the solid colors um, I used a nice goldish yellow for the mirror and then I went in with the microns and started uh, creating the details on the mirror and I did have a reference photo uh, nearby so that way I could kind of get the general idea of, um, of all the line work and the details on the on the mirror And I did vary in the different thicknesses of the microns. Um, I mostly used the 005, which is the thinnest one that I have, the 01, and the 02. Um, those three are the, the ones that I predominantly used for all the lines in the mirror. Now the sketchbook is rather small. It's not a it's not a very large sketchbook, so I didn't have, you know, a big space to work with, which was good because I was putting a lot of detail into the mirror but that also limited how much detail I could put in the mirror, of course. And um, it was good to have these really thin microns in order to um, get all the details that I wanted in there. Um, but it was, it, was, it was lots of fun to draw this. And obviously, um, because the, the book is smaller, I think it's a four and three quarters by six and three quarter sheet. So um, I wanted to make the piece stand out um, and I thought that the that yellow color would really would really make would make it jump with all the details with the microns so um, again because of the page sheet I was a little limited to how much I could really put in there but the, the microns really helped And so, of course, being a Harry Potter fan, I recently went to go watch um, Fantastical, Fantastical Beasts and Where to Find Them. And I, I, I guess there were a lot of mixed feelings, um, but I, I really enjoyed the movie. It was very interesting to see um, how they, I guess, how they introduced the, the wizarding world in the United States. And also the time period and seeing sort of the struggles that uh, witches and wizards uh, go through was very interesting. And then also to see, of course, all the beasts. It was awesome. They had really cute, cuddly ones and they had really scary looking ones. And um, a, lot, a lot of them that you wish you could take home. <laughs> but um, it w I really enjoyed the movie. I watched it with my family and it was great fun so of course I had to put out my uh, my Harry Potter commission this week um, you know relating to the uh, recent Harry Potter new, new new magical beasts movie that they just put out and we're just adding a little bit of detail to the lamps and I decided to put the lamps um, next to the mirror um, in order to just, I guess, to balance the, the image because I didn't want the mirror to be the only thing that was in the center and that was yellow. Um, and I thought that the lamps or the sconces would be a good way to sort of uh, balance the, the um, decomposition out and add a little more color as well. And then for the... Uh, I guess the typography on the mirror uh, that was kind of difficult to do just because it's a font that I, I guess like an old English font it's very um, I guess 
scripty where there's lots of slants and usually that's hard for me to do um, but it's especially hard to do it in a very small area again the the size of the page was pretty small so I the, the actual writing is pretty small so I pretty much just use the, the smallest micron to just get in there and um, it's not as clean as I would like it to be but I guess because it's you know kind of scripty it, it kind of just fits a little bit with the um, with the mirror a little bit better so it didn't bother me too much but it was difficult getting all the letters in there and getting them clean so I, that's why you can see at first I had it in pencil and I went back with a micron just to clean it up and then the same thing with the um, with Lily and James um, Potter faces they're really small so I just try to get there you know a little bit of details here and there and then the figure in the back which is you know Harry standing in front of the mirror is just a shadow um, but that one I just decided to darken it in a little bit more um, and then um, I just added a little more details to the actual background and the arches in the back and the columns And I guess I'm referring back to what I was talking about earlier about the movie. Um, I just, I really can't wait to see the next ones. Um, that's the only thing I, really, I didn't like about the movie is that since there are more to come, of course it kind of leaves you on a you know, cliffhanger and you want to know what happens next. So I really enjoyed the movie, but it's like, ah, uh, just how long do we have to wait for the next one? But um, it'll be very interesting. It sounds like there's going to be four more movies in the series. So um, obviously I'm very excited about it and um, I was also very excited to see it because my birthday was um, not too long ago so that was my birthday request was to go see the movie and um, it was just lots of fun to hang out and watch the movie with my family but I just I can't wait until the next ones come out <laughs> and I'm just adding a little bit of highlight with my um, uh, Uniball uh, white gel pen and I'm just adding a little bit here and there just to make it look more like gold, make it look like it's shining. And then for the foreground, I wanted to give it a little bit of a softer look. So what I did was I added a really light purple gray fading into the gray. Um, just in order to give it a little bit of variety and a little bit of compl complexity to the front. And then I decided to add the white dots in order to give it a softness to it, almost like um, snow or like um, magical dust or something. I just wanted to add a little bit of variety, complexity, and texture to the foreground. And there's the completed piece. And I very much enjoyed drawing this piece um, in this Harry Potter sketchbook. And like I said, I was so honored to be asked to um, be part of the sketchbook. And so I tried to, you know, make it look as, as nice as I could. And I, I really loved the way it turned out. And I almost wish that I could keep it, but, you know, obviously I can't. It's a commission piece. But um, I, it was lots of fun to do, and I was very happy to do it. And thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next week. Um, also, if you'd like to watch my video from last week, um, please feel free to cl click there on the corner where the thumbnail is. Um, I, last week I drew a really cool Doctor Strange uh, digital art piece, so if you'd like to watch that, please click in the corner. But until next time, guys, thanks, and have a good one. Bye.